Thing that we've never done before since our church began a year and a half ago, a little over a year and a half ago. We've never had baptisms, but through the very great generosity of some friends in Oregon, we have a baptismal tank. It even has warm water. And, uh, and so we get to celebrate baptism. Now, baptism is a very, very powerful and important uh, sacrament, as it were. Let me tell you a little bit about it. <clears throat> When John the Baptist came uh, preaching that the Messiah was coming, he says, get ready for him by turning away from running your own lives and turn to God and as a outward expression, be baptized. Then Jesus began to preach and his disciples began to baptize. But what we really see uh, unpacked is the theology behind it by the Apostle Paul few years later and what the Apostle Paul says about baptism is this that our hope is our connection to Jesus the way we're saved is by getting connected to Jesus and the way you do that is by faith but when you believe in Jesus the Bible actually says it this way you are placed in Christ so now whatever happens to Christ happens to you so it's this identification with Christ that is really the essence of salvation. So baptism is an outward expression of what happened within. This really is the way the church for 2,000 years has said to the world, I'm a Christ follower now. A lot, sometimes people say, how come you don't have people come up the altar, you know, and come down the sawdust trail for Jesus? That's a very good technique, but that was just invented in the 1850s in the Charles Finney revivals. For 2,000 years, the way a person declared that they had made a decision to follow Christ was through baptism. Some countries of the world today, it'll cost your life to be baptized. This has always been the expression of faith in Christ. Now, here's what it means. Paul says, this water represents a watery grave. That before you go under the water, it represents your life before Christ, where you're calling the shots, you're running the show, you're determining what's right and wrong and all that stuff. And look at the wonderful job we do with that, you know? But then you come to Christ, you say, Lord, I need you. And so you place your trust in Christ. The Bible says that when you go under the water, that, that, that represents this watery grave, the death of the old person. But guess what? Jesus just didn't die, he rose from the dead. And when you come up out of the water, it represents your newness of life. And now your life is new. You're made new. Your sins are gone. Your past is, is covered by the blood of Jesus. And what you have in front of you is a future that concludes with seeing Jesus in the face and being with him forever. So it's a powerful symbol. And uh, don't worry. We'll, we'll put you under the water, but we'll also bring you out. You know, <laughs> like, you know, there was there was. Some people that say you hold them under the water till you know all their sins are gone. But then, you know, with Didi, we would have had to call the paramedics. So we, we, we don't do that. We just take you under symbolic. She's not laughing. She's very serious right now. I wish I hadn't said that. And, and, and then you come out. So with those who are going to be baptized, please line up right here to my left. You're right. With those who are going to assist, come on in. And So, let me, uh, let me just simply ask you a couple questions. Hey, Binky, do you believe that Jesus Christ died for your sins? Yes, I do with my whole heart. You believe he rose from the dead? Yes, he did. I, I feel him every day. Well, and are you committed to follow him the rest of your life? Amen. Yes, I am. Felicia, do you believe that Jesus died for your sins? And you believe he rose from the dead. And are you asked him into your heart? And you're committed to following him the rest of your life. 
receive grace. Do you believe that Jesus died for your sins? I do. Do you believe that he rose from the dead? Absolutely. And you've asked him into your heart? Yes, I and am. And you're committed to following him the rest of your life? Yes, I am. Right. Albert, do you believe that Jesus died for your sins? Yes, I do. Do you believe that he rose from the dead? Yes. And have you asked him into your heart? Yes, I have. And you're committed to following him the rest of your life? Yes, I have. Well, this is known as a profession of faith. This is the basis of the invitation to be baptized. Let's baptize y'all. I want to invite you to stand as we sing some um, just awesome words that remind us about the newness we have in Christ. All things have passed away. Your love has stayed the same. Your constant grace remains the Yeah. Okay. 